Hello everybody and welcome to this video where we are going to be talking today about when I write. Um, this is a fun little topic and it's one that was brought up in the live stream um, on Sunday or Saturday or Friday. Thursday, because today is Friday. Effing crap. I don't even know what freaking day it is. Mother shit. I think what happens with a lot of us is that things change, things, um, like there is a constant metamorphosis with our creative process. And I think a lot of it depends too on what you're inspired by and what like triggers your wheel to turn. So for like me right now, sitting next to this window, looking out on the city and seeing all sorts of things that are different and crazy all the time is very inspiring to me. So as of lately, I write throughout the day as I see stuff, as something jumps out at me, or um, if I'm like in the shower, for instance, and like water's running on my head, like I'll just kind of like clear and then all of a sudden like an idea will pop up and then I'll get out of the shower and then come and start. Um, whether that is poetry or short stories, um, that's basically all I've been doing lately. Um, the only um, novel type thing I've worked on in the last uh, two years was that um, Hank Bradshaw book that came out in June? May? May? June? May. No, June. It doesn't fucking matter. Um, but, like, just being around the things that inspire you should show you the things to do. Um, before this, what I would do would be, as I'm out and about doing stuff through the day, I would just open the notepad on my phone and just, like, type ideas as they came to me. And then at night, once it cooled down, and I would be in my little cave with the music on and the wine flowing, I would start working out all those ideas. And that's good if, um, I think especially if you don't have many ideas. Like if you just have one idea or two ideas or something like that, and then throughout the day they could ruminate and you could come up with like opening lines or you could come up with um, certain character traits as the day goes on kind of thing. And then when you finally sit down to write, you have stuff to write. Um, I typically don't like writing in the morning just because my brain's still like coming to in this whole thing. Um, I will write dreams down if I recall. Like if I wake up and I'm able to remember my dream, I'll try to jot those down. But a lot of times, because I'm still like half asleep and shit, when I read that, it's like dog chunk fark, corner. I'm like, what the fuck is that? I can't. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Um, so that's always a problem with me with that. But I do think, um, and this is just one of those things: the the type drunk edit sober. Like that is such a fucking like powerful fucking thing and like I get way deep into the metaphysical when it comes to that and that's a topic for a different day but um, the idea of spending the afternoon or the night writing and just writing free and not being wor not worrying about all the other shit like um, did I capitalize that is the punctuation good did I spell that right all that shit, like, I, I try not to give a fuck about any of that until the next day. And then the next morning, when I'm drinking my coffee, I'll go over stuff that I've worked on and try to, like, give it a fresh coat of paint or just, like, kind of, you know, trim around the ears a little bit um, to try to make that go. But I think more than anything, anything, is that you have to be comfortable, like, wherever you're going to be 
like um, if you're comfortable typing in the back seat of an Uber, then type in the back seat of an Uber. But if you need more than that, if you need silence, if you need something, that's the most important thing to have. Whatever it is you need to create, that's the most important. That's way more important than what time you're creating. But then along with that is like you need to be inspired. Like you need to be creating when you're around the things that inspire you. Unless you are a really good note taker. And then you could just take really good notes when you're inspired and then go back and bang those out. Um, and I'm sure I will change. If you ask me this question in six months, I'll probably have a different answer. And I'll, honestly, maybe this is something I should talk about every six months and just talk about like that process and like what's going on. So I don't know. But like, what do you do? Like, what what is the best time for you to write? Like, when are you feeling the most at one with your inner self and the self out here like when when do you, when did those things come to you when did those things pour out of you um let me know in the comments down below and if you're interested in um doing the poetic anarchy course which is um a, a writing workshop clash um that's not just about poetry it's about writing everything but we focus on poetry for the first bit of it um, there is a free workshop. I should actually probably link the free workshop in here. It's like five days of um, uh, lessons and homework, I guess. And if you're interested in that, do that. And if you like it and it feels good and you feel like you're getting a lot out of it, think about um, becoming a member, um, joining the Anarchy Crew, and come in and the classes are all throughout the week and we do um, the uh, members only Anarchy Crew live stream on Fridays. Already did it today. Um, this week, uh, we are talking about daily writing habits. We're talking about um, typing drunk. And we're also um, going over spreadsheets and how spreadsheets can help you um, with your writing and with your submitting to places and stuff like that. So that's what's going on this week in the course. And we're also getting ready for Project Broadside. I guess this is the first real announcement of it. Project Broadside is coming. So be ready for it. Let's hashtag that shit. Okay. So um, until next time, let me know all these things down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.